You can map a public Google site to your own custom domain. Google Sites are easy to update and create, but normally the link to the Google site looks something like this. That's a long URL to enter. You can easily set up your Google site with a custom URL, like www.yourdomain.com or even dashboard.yourdomain.com. To make a site available from a custom URL, you need to add the web address in your Google Apps control panel and then make a change to your DNS settings with your domain host. Just make sure the Google site you're using has its privacy settings set to public, or the user will be redirected to the long URL. So let's get started. First, open your Google Apps control panel and go to Settings. From here, click Sites under Services, and then Web Address Mapping, and Add a new web address. You'll need the name of the site you want to add. In this example, the site is called Dashboard, so we'll enter that here. Now you need to put in the subdomain you'll use for this site. This could be www or really anything you'd like. It doesn't have to match the name of the site as it's entered here, but in this case, we'll use Dashboard as the subdomain. When you have that entered in, click Save Changes. Some instructions for completing the process will appear. Pay close attention to the instructions because they may be different from what we do here. In this example, we need to go to GoDaddy, which is our domain host provider, and create a CNAME record called Dashboard and set its destination to ghs.google.com. So I'll open a new tab in my browser and log into my domain host. Just remember, you'll need to use the domain host provider for your domain. Refer to your domain host provider's documentation to make the changes to your DNS settings. The tools may look different depending on your domain host provider, but in general, you need to create a CNAME record or domain alias hostname for the subdomain. And in this example, it's dashboard. And then have it point to ghs.google.com. Save your new record and you're done. Just be aware that it may take up to 48 hours for these changes to take effect. But once the changes are made, you should be able to enter in the new custom URL and be directed to your Google site. If you'd like to learn more about managing your domain or more about Google Sites, check out our help centers here or go to support.google.com a.